So thank you everybody for being here. I know that the other talk is very interesting, so thank you for staying here. <laughs> uh, it's a pleasure and an honor for me to be at Work in Athens this year at this work camp. This is a massive event and I'm very happy to be a little bit, a little part of this event this year of the WordPress community in Greece. So I'm going to talk about how to get more or how to get involved with WordPress. But I want you to explain what does that mean? What that means? Um, how many of you use WordPress for work of here? And you raise your hands? Okay. And how many of you use WordPress as a hobby or, you know, has used WordPress, but, you know, you're here for learning and you're still getting, you know, learning what is WordPress about? Thank you. Great. So I'm going to explain you a little bit about the ecosystem of this project. I'm going to explain you a little bit how this project works and how things are like they are and how everybody's welcome, everybody in this room, everybody in the wall is welcome to get involved in a project like this because this is a global project. So this is WordPress.org. This is my profile in WordPress.org. You know, when you go to WordPress.org, for example, to write on the forums or whatever, you register, you know, like one second in the page and you get that profile, right? So this is my profile on WordPress.org. And as you can see, we have the activity or, you know, activity on the forums and a little, you know, profile, like description of my profile. And you will see here that I'm a member of WordPress.org since 2009. And I have some special colorful badges there, okay? And this is relevant because in some minutes you will understand what is this about and why it's relevant in the WordPress community. Those are called uh, community badges, okay? And in a global open source project like this, everybody is welcome to participate or to contribute to different parts of the project. The project of WordPress is divided right now in 18 teams. And everybody, every time that you check the profile of someone of WordPress.org, you can see all the different teams that that person has been contributed to. So I've been contributed to all those different teams during the last uh, eight years. So polyglots helping translations, help, helping be, uh, WordPress to be translated into Spanish or meta or video or speaker or orga working organizer. I will explain you a little bit how this works. But the first thing is to give you a little bit of context. WordPress is an open source project. Are you familiar? Can you raise your hands if you know what is open source? Okay, the half of the room, that's great. That's great because I'm going, you know, for the rest, uh, for the rest of you who doesn't know what it is or, you know, want to know a little bit more about that, open source, is uh, all these projects that you can see here are just a little, little example, a little list of all the open source projects active in the world right now, okay? And every day you use open source projects. You know, you use your mobile phone with Android, for example, you're using open source software. You're using Drupal, WordPress, um, Mozilla, Oracle, you know, you're using every day without being conscious about a lot of different software created with an open source license. Okay, open source basically means that everybody, that, that the code is open to everybody and the code, and you are free to modify the code, to improve the code, okay, to check the code, to check if there is a vulner security vulnerabilities or any other things. So everybody in the wall can become, um, you know, a security uh, consultant in some way, or it can modify something if you don't like how it works. So if you don't like how WordPress works, you just can go deeper, go to the code and check something and, it's to and you're free to do it. You're not only free to do it, I mean, you are encouraged to do it because the philosophy of the open source is that the more we work together and um, the more we, you know, we have the freedom to do these things, the faster and uh, the faster the project grows. 
you know, and move forward. This is like a Wikipedia, you know, it's similar to like the, oh, the philosophy of the Wikipedia, okay? The, everybody together move forward, you know, the project faster and grows and improve faster. So WordPress is using the GPL, which is a license, uh, which is the license called uh, general public license. Okay, so the general public license is the license that uh, permits us to, to be like this. I mean, to, to have the software defended or, you know, or to be able to, to, you know, every time that someone creates some software for WordPress, the GPL license says that if you, if you use some GPL software like WordPress, for example, and you're creating some derivatives like plugins or themes or anything that is going to work with WordPress, it has to stick the license. That means if WordPress is with GPL, that means open source and open to everybody. If you create anything for WordPress, it has to be GPL. So it continues the freedom of use and improvement and everything. Okay, so any software that adheres to WordPress should be GPL. That's a little bit of context. Maybe too, uh, I hope not to, uh, I don't want to get lost on technical details. So when we say free, we say free as a freedom, okay? Because the, 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 the thing is that WordPress, when we say WordPress is free, we're not talking about money, we're not talking about that if you are a professional of WordPress, you know, have to give your time or your work for free. It, that we're not talking about that. We're talking about the freedom for everybody to modify, to improve, or to change anything in this software. And, you know, the GPL and the license, you know, is in your back. So why contributing? I mean, why I've been spending the last years of my life, personal and professionally, contributing to the WordPress open source project? Um, because we know that we are all very busy. You know, we have our own jobs, full-time jobs, normally very, very busy with our own things. So why I will use one hour of my free time, for example, helping people on the forums or adding, I don't know, subtitles to the WordPress, WordPress TV videos from Greek to English or whatever. You know, there are a lot of ways of contributing. So the first, I'm going to give you some of them, okay? Some of the things that in the last years I've experienced as a prof, as a, you know, the good things about contributing to an open source project like this. So the first thing would be profit. You don't get direct profit contributing to a project, okay? You don't get money if you're going to help, you know, making trust uh, documentation in Greek, for example. But the good thing is that giving back to WordPress will make you more valuable in so many ways to clients or your company. So there is no a direct project, but there are so many, so many indirect uh, profits contributing to the WordPress community. For example, professional development. So working, the thing is that this is a global project. There are people, all, thousands of people working with WordPress every single day at every hour all around the, the globe. And we connect it in one place. We have one place where everybody's connected and some of the best developers, designers, marketing experts, uh, documentation people, audio, some of the best uh, professionals in the world of some areas are working in this project and you can just work with them every day if you want. You cannot imagine the experience that you can get. Just get in there, which because it's open, everything is transparent in this project and you just can go there and to see how people and teams are working together and you can participate with decisions, with things or helping or whatever. So as a professional development, I can tell you that it's a great opportunity to work and learn with the best ones. To be an authority as well, because you'll know more about WordPress, how it works, what's coming soon in the next versions, your clients, your employer your, will appreciate it because at the end you will get more and more knowledge about the project and about the, so the software that you're using for your clients, for yourself, for, you know, for the website of your university, for example, right? And to make WordPress better, why is this so important? 
my livelihood, I make a living with using WordPress. I've been making a life uh, using WordPress for the last eight years. And, and that relies on WordPress. And the ecosystem of WordPress is massive. I mean, it's not only about people who work in big companies, it's about freelancers, it's about people with small clients, medium clients, small agencies or medium agencies and big ones. I mean, and we all make a living thanks to WordPress. So it's our responsibility and our interest to create a better project. So the better project it is, the better it's for the ecosystem in general. So if you want to get involved with WordPress, okay, you say, okay, Rocio, I'm gonna try. Let's see how it is, you know, how it works. So the first step is to join a Slack. A Slack is a tool, if you don't know what it is, it's like a tool for communication of teams. And it's a specialized it's focus on the communication between re, uh, teams that work remotely. Okay, so for companies that work remotely or, you know, for teams like this one, because we are thousands of people around the world making WordPress better every day, we go here to communicate with each other. So if you, if you want to join a Slack, you know, of the WordPress community, the global WordPress community, you only have to go to make.wordpress.org-chat and you get the instructions there, it's like 30 seconds. And that's where we talk every day. Every day, I work in the, I work part of, I'm very lucky that a company donates the 100% of my time to work for the open source WordPress community. So that means that I'm focused on the community team. I will tell you a little bit more about how many teams there are in the project, but I'm focused on the community team. That means that we help, my team helps, and support all WordCamp and Meetup organizers around the world because we work for, you know, trying to make the lives easier for the um, WordPress events organizers. So if you go, if you can see there, that is a list of channels and the community events, this is the community events. So all, all of these is conversations with the, the people like me helping me, uh, work on Meetup organizers. There were some questions about Brazil, there, um, Sao Paulo, and you know, so this is a Slack. And there are a lot of channels, don't get overwhelmed, please. You don't have to join all channels because there are hundreds. And if you are interested at, about a specific team, just join that specific team. And if you want, if, you, if you're curious about how other teams, for example, design or the design team or others, just join that channel and see how it works and say hello. I mean, just say, hey, I knew about this at work in Athens. Uh, this is my name. Hello, everybody. And I can tell you that the WordPress community is a very, very welcoming place if you want to, to join. So if you want to do something and if you want to learn doing things, what will be the first step to join a Slack? The second step, the second step will be to find your place in the project. What what is what you're passionate about. If you're passionate about coding, welcome. If you're passionate about marketing, welcome. If you're passionate about accessibility, if you're passionate about documentation, all of that. We have 18 teams because WordPress is a very big project. We are one of the biggest open source projects in the world. We're making history. And in the last 15 years, we have been growing organically and we have been uh, separating, you know, the tasks, the different tasks in different teams in an organic way. So if you go to make.wordpress.org, that's the place for the contributors. That's the place where you will find the information about all the different teams and how to start contributing. Because every team, they has like a section at the top. And at the top of that section of every team, you can see here core, design, mobile, if you like mobile development, or if you like accessibility, um, for example, or any of, of the teams, you will click, you can click there and you will have all the information about how, how to start. So this is the, this is the famous list right now. This is the structure of the project and we divide on all these sections. I've been contributing to six of these teams in the last eight years. So don't, you know, don't get overwhelmed. If you want to focus on one thing and to learn about one thing or another one, you know, you're welcome to any of them, okay? So the first one, I will tell you that one of the first one and easier ones to start contributing to, to, to feel how it, you know, to know how it feels 
In my opinion, it's the support and the translations ones. Why? Because you don't need anything to start. You, you know, if you go to WordPress.org, I'm sure, how many of you have used the WordPress forums for asking questions at least once? Okay, that's a lot. So how many of you have gone to the forums to answer questions to other people like you? Okay, that's a lot less, but that we still have five or six of you. So that's the thing. The thing is that we improve helping each other and sharing knowledge, right? So if you, the, the idea is that at the same way that you go to the forums to make a question, you can go to the forums to answer a question that you know to uh, how to answer and to help other people like you. And that's how the, the project works. Because, you know, we help each other. This is an open source project that is no one behind except we and the companies that we work with, you know, thanks to the, you know, with the project every day. Um, yeah, and that's the whole idea. We help each other, we share knowledge. So getting to support, for example, is going to give you the opportunity of researching about things that you're not sure about, for example. If you see a, a, a question and you say, oh yeah, I can answer this. And when you're writing down the answer, it's like, oh, I'm not sure, I'm gonna check. So you go to your WordPress site, you check, you double check, and at the same time that you're helping someone, you're learning more knowledge. Um, so that's about support. Uh, there are very interesting, and I'm going to give you just a few of them. I'm going to tell you just a few about a few of them. Training. Do you know what is the training team about? Can you raise your hand? Okay, one person. Oh, Alexander, if you look at there at the bottom, can you raise your hand, please, Alexander? Yeah, say hello. So he's one of the contributors of the training and documentation team. Uh, and it's a, they're very small teams. They are bigger teams. For example, polyglots, they have like 1,000 or 2,000 active contributors, like p translation, people making translation into, you know, I don't know, Chinese, Indian, Spanish, etc. And the training team is very interesting because there are a lot of teachers in the world teaching about WordPress, right? I'm sure that even you at your company or with your friend have been teaching about WordPress. So what these people are doing is that these people who are every day using WordPress for teaching their students or colleagues or whatever, and maybe they have been doing slides or they have been doing some tutorials or something like that. What they do is that they participate in the training team and they share all of that. So if you want to teach about WordPress, you only have to go to the training team and to download all the documentation, all the slides, all the different, all the courses are there available for anyone. So, you know, you, you can just use the documentation and the training courses and tests, exams, uh, slides and everything. You can just use it. Or if you have some, you know, maybe in Greek, you can just go there and to say, hello, my name is, I don't know, Kostas. And I have some documentation in Greek because I was teaching some students and you know your documentation is welcome so that's all about you know we share all we have and the training team is about that they're sharing all the documentation they have for teachers and it's very very interesting and for example about the speakers you know just being here sharing knowledge is another way of contributing to WordPress you know a work time is just once a year but you know, we organize each other. You know, for example, we have in Seville and in a lot of cities in the world, we have the WordPress meetup groups. Uh, we meet monthly or bi-weekly, and we just do workshops. And of course, this is non-profit events, okay, for anything supported by the WordPress Foundation. And uh, we just, you know, help each other, teach each other, and everything. So as being a speaker or talking a meetup or in a working like this is another way of helping the project and helping people to grow together. What about TV? If you go to wordpress.tv, you will see all the, diff all the talks of all the work camps around the world. Is that you cannot imagine how valuable, you know, um, the treasure inside that uh, website in WordPress TV. So this is the thing. If we have a talk today, or we have a lot of talks today in Greek, Okay, these, those talks are going to be tomorrow or next week in WordPress TV. But what about the rest of the world? If it's Greek, nobody's, you know, not everybody's going to understand Greek. But you can contribute to a WordPress project just going to WordPress.tv, contribute, and to add subtitles 
into English, for example. So if you speak English and you speak Greek, that's another way of contributing. You know, you just add the subtitles and maybe just five minutes and another person will add another five minutes. This is like, you know, for you to get an idea like the Wikipedia, right? I mean, everybody puts a little bit and at the end we make a mountain. So, and, and you know, and there are a lot of other, uh, there are a lot of other um, teams doing different stuff. For example, if you, the hosting team is focused on getting, you know, communication and good practices for the hostings. You know, they work with the best hostings and they have like, they are represent, representatives of big uh, hosting companies working with them to make sure that the hosting companies are giving the best of the, you know, to the users and to give a good uh, user experience. Um, marketing is a very great uh, team because they're making a lot of, a, a big effort. There, we have a lot of marketing experts as well, helping different teams of WordPress. For example, if we have the WordPress community team, which is down there, uh, up there in blue, uh, that, that, teams, that team where I work, we focus on the WordPress events around the world. That is on not only work camps or meetups, there are uh, as well workshops about uh, open source for people around the world to know what is open source about or making workshops about WordPress or a specific, more technical specific ones or a lot of things, right? So we help the community event organizers. Um, so for example, so every team, as you can imagine now, this is big, right? Where a lot of people, you know, <laughs> working every day with, in some way or another with the WordPress open source project. And the, f the funny thing is that everything is done remotely. Doesn't matter if you're working or if you're living in Greek or I'm living in Spain and other ones in the US or France or whatever, the common language is English. And if you feel scared about the language barrier, no worries. I'm, you know, I always felt scared about the language barrier too. The good thing about working with the WordPress, this project, is that everything is on text. So, you know, if your English is not very good, you always can, you know, take one minute extra and to check the dictionary and to make sure that you're writing the right word and not a funny thing, you know? Uh, so we communicate on a Slack on text and we have P2s. And when I say P2s is this. So if you go to make.wordpress.org-support, you're going to go to a special website on a specific design and every team that has that specific design. So it's a design that we call, it's a theme of WordPress, okay? It's just another WordPress site. It's a multi-site, in fact, wordpress.org. And the P2 is a, spe a special theme for working, okay? For, you know, creating debates, for between the team, the, the team members, and for, you know, making reports and for talking about the next task of the team, what we're going to do to improve this or to that or whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then on a Slack, because we use a Slack every day, you know, for talking about the small things and, you know, improving or fixing or helping uh, the last minute things, we have a channel on a Slack. So the forum, the support team who is helping people on support every day, they have the channel support. And this is how it looks, uh, the forums on, uh, on, on WordPress.org. And maybe you don't know about this, but a lot of locales, locales are the different languages. For example, a Spain, a Spanish from Spain is a locale, and we have a lot of locales available in WordPress, in WordPress, okay? So imagine all the translators of Spanish from Spain, because Spanish from Chile is very different, okay? It's, it's, we can understand each other, but it's different. If you are from Spain, you will not like to, people will feel very weird reading the dashboard of WordPress, for example, in Spanish from Argentina, okay? So we have a lot of different translation teams, and we call that locales. So I don't know if you know, but you have forums, or you can have forums in your locale as well. So this is the WordPress.org forum in English, but, oh, I don't have the screenshot, but we have a WordPress forum in WordPress.org, which is es.wordpress.org-forums, or support, and those forums, official forums, are in Spanish. 
And you could have that in Greek as well. If you have an active translation community and you want to get the locale for forums, you could have official forums in Greek. And that's totally fine. So about documentation, I'm sure that a lot of times people, when you're, when you're teaching or when you're explaining something about WordPress, your clients or your friends or your users or your colleague don't know about things and you have made little tutorials or whatever. So we have a team helping with documentation and we have people from all around the world. It's a small team in fact, so welcome if you want to join them. And they have weekly chats. So if you are interested about helping with doing some documentation, you know, like screenshots in Greek and for people to understand how to do something specific in WordPress, because you don't know, a, a very important thing about that all the things I'm talking right now is it's very common to think the following. This is a software project, right? A global software project. And it's common to think, hey, I'm not a developer. I don't know how to read code. I cannot help here. I don't know anything about WordPress. It just started last week, you know, and I've been using just the dashboard. So don't think that you cannot help someone. I'm sure that every single person here knows more than another person. That means that you can help another person, you know, because you know more than other people, right? So there are so many of these 18 teams available right now in the project. Only four of them, only four of them need, need you to know how to code. The rest of the teams, like documentation, training, community, plugin support, um, not plugins, but support, design, et cetera, needs, needs you to know how to code. The rest of them, no. Most of them, they only need you to know how to speak <laughs> in another language or how to use WordPress, not technically, but just use it, etc. So people in the different teams, they have like, we have weekly or monthly chats in the community, in the documentation team, they have one weekly chat. So once a week they, they meet on a Slack, on that channel, on documentation. And they have a meeting about, you know, how to organize the work. So if you want to help, hey, hello, I'm Kostas from Greek, and, you know, I would like to help about this, uh, you know, this team to do something or introduction, you're welcome to do it. And as you can see, uh, every single site uh, of the WordPress, of the teams, they have like an introduction welcome part. So this is the top part of the website of the team. And as you can see here, you have like the welcome section where there are some instructions if you are new. So if you are new and you want to know how to start contributing the first steps, you have, a, you know, you have the instructions there with a page with all the little steps for beginners if you want to just start helping or to jo and to join the team. And so you have the information for starting, you have the contact, how to get in contact with the team, where, they where to find them. You know, if you want to, maybe you want to learn about, you know, more about design. And one of the best designers of the world is, is uh, involved in the WordPress community since one year ago. Maybe you would love to work with them, right? So all the information is there. And this is my team. I'm very especially proud of this one because I'm very involved with this team since eight years ago when I founded the WordPress Meetup Group in Sevilla, in my city with other colleagues. Um, we started the first local work camp in Spain, like a long time ago now, not so long. Um, and now I'm, I'm very lucky to say that, you know, we are helping other people sharing our experience to do other meetup groups and work camps like this one in other parts of the world. And yeah, and we, because we are so big and we have events and contributors to this team all around the globe, we have two chats every two weeks. So we do one in the mornings. So all the Asian people and European people can join. So it's the morning for Europeans and it's the evening for Asian people. And then we have one in the evening. So it's especially for, you know, America and Pacific. And we coordinate ourselves like that remotely. This is the future, right? So that's why I said that we're making history. So this is work and central when I work, where I work. So only in 2017, we had 130 
or around 130 workers around the wall. And it's amazing to see the map and to see uh, how it's evolving and growing. And this is not updated because just uh, one day ago, the number of WordPress meet active WordPress meetup groups in the world is, was 555 groups with more than 250,000 active members in the wall. So the map is quite impressive. And as you can see there, and I feel a little bit proud about that, so let me share it. Uh, I started the WordPress meetup group more in the north in the wall. So that was last year when I was living in Greenland. And it's, yeah, I was still in there. And I realized that there was not a WordPress group there, you know, to, I don't know, to talk about, to share things, to do workshops or whatever. And I started the meetup group, the WordPress meetup group there. It was amazing. It was a very small city, but we were like 10 people, an average of 10 people in every event. It was amazing. And I, uh, yeah, it's something, it's a little bit of, the story of the WordPress community now. This, this was the first event, one of the first events <laughs> with the group in Greenland. And um, yeah, and it's, it's great to see how people, thanks to this kind of events, you know, people connect, uh, people, you know, grow together. A company was founded thanks to this group because, you know, one developer, one designer, they, they met together and they started a project and right now they're running an agency. So things work like that. At the end, it's a question about people. We are people, we're humans. We share values and we share some passion. And, you know, and if we can connect with each other and to make these things happen, that's worth it, you know? And, you know, if you want to share your knowledge here, if you were, you know, you can find the, the WordPress people in your city, in your country, so uh, the first link is where you can find all the WordPress meetup groups in the world, all the list of official WordPress meetup groups in the world. And Athens is, is there, of course. And there are a lot of different WordPress meetup groups in Greek right now, and there are more uh, coming. And the next work camps, if you are interested about attending more work camps, is there. All the schedule of official WordPress uh, conferences are there. So I told you at the beginning that I will show you this again for you to understand about the badges. So as you can see here and in the WordPress.org uh, profile, uh, this is my profile and this is, you know, all that I've been contributing and improving my personal and my professional career in the last year because this is not only about my work, this is about a passion that I have. I really believe in open source. I really believe that we're making a better internet because we're going in a direction where we are the hippies of the internet right now. <laughs> and yeah, it's the truth. I mean, it's not easy to be against the big ones, you know, when everything is going to a direction of a more closed internet where everything, your information belongs to the big ones and you're not even the owner of that. And a project like this makes me feel that I'm doing something for the future. It makes me feel that I'm really, really, you know, uh, enjoying my time doing something that is going to improve the future of the new generations, at least in the internet, which is something big. And yeah, and I've been contributing to the Polyglots, translating WordPress, Meta, which is the team that makes sure that WordPress.org, the multi-site of WordPress.org, or, you know, gets better and improved and secure and everything. Community, because I help the bet, the community event organizers, plugins, because I released plugins to the WordPress repository, video, because I added uh, translations or subtitles to the videos, of some videos, of course, of WordPress TV, a speaker, because I'm speaking here, and work on organizer, because I've been organizing uh, some work camps in Sevilla, um, three work camps in Europe. Um, so, you know, it's in some ways, it's something that you know, it's a little bit part of your life at the end. You know, you make friends around the world, and you may, you find, you know, great colleagues around the world, you learn a lot, you grow personally and you grow professionally, so it's a great experience. You're very welcome. If you are, very, if you are interested about, you know, more information or whatever related with the WordPress open source project, I'm here all day and tomorrow, 
at the contributor day. So you can just, you know, tell me or ask me or stop me in the corridors and, you know, ask me any question. So all the, I was, I'm just going, you know, keep going because I wanted to tell you before finishing that this is very interesting. We have like a little big revolution in the WordPress open source project, in this project, and it's Gutenberg, which is the new editor. If you've been using WordPress at least, you know, normal, like a user making articles and all of that, you know that we have like an editor. It's like a box where you write down your post or your pages, right? So mo a lot of developers of the project, they're working right now on a project called Gutenberg. And this project is improving the editor of WordPress to be more visual, to be more interactive, so people don't have to know any code or short codes or HTML or whatever, and to be able to do everything visually, okay? It's one of the big revolutions, it will be one of the big revolutions and steps and new features of WordPress. So we need testers, everybody's welcome, and you, you know, you only have to install the Gutenberg plugin on the repository and, and to test it. And there is a direct, there, there is a direct uh, button saying feedback. So if you have any feedback, I can assure you that we are <laughs> taking the feedback very seriously because we really want to release something strong and powerful for WordPress and to keep improving because, you know, this is a live project and we have to keep moving. Um, so we need testers. You're welcome to test as Gutenberg. Just install the plugin there. And don't, don't forget that, you know, when you install it, if uh, you can write your post in the normal editor, or you, or you will have a, a menu on the dashboard where you can just go and to write all your posts there. And there is a sub menu with the feedback. So all feedback is welcome. The more testers, the merrier. And this is a little bit of how it looks. And, you know, I can assure you it's very, uh, yeah, it's very interesting. And there is so many people working on this that it's amazing to see how every week they have a new release with, you know, new features, new uh, functionalities and everything. And polyglots, all of you here, if you're sitting down here, is because you at least understand two languages, Greek, and a little bit of English, but at least, you know, it feels like you're understanding me. So if you want to help to improve the translations of WordPress into Greek, you're very welcome to join Polyglots. Uh, the only thing is so easy that you don't have to do anything. I mean, the, I mean this is my favorite uh, team to work, uh, to tr contribute, because Every time that I'm translating something because for, uh, you know, for me, because I think that is a mistake in the translation, I know that I'm helping more people because what, whatever you're translating, you're translating that for the world, you know, in, you know, that they speak Greek in the, your case. So you only have to go to translate.wordpress.org, translate.wordpress.org, and then just to check or to select what you want to, to translate. You can select, you know, you can translate WordPress in general, or you can just, if you can see there, or you can just translate any theme that is in the reposi official repository of WordPress. You can translate any plugin, which is in the official repository of plugin of WordPress. You can translate the multi-site of WordPress.org in general, or the apps, the mobile phone, the, mo the WordPress mobile uh, phone app as well. And so this is an example, for example, of in Greek. Uh, so the, this is like one example of one thing called Weaver Extreme, for example. As you can see there, they're like, uh, it's in 12% translated. So if you use that theme, for example, for your clients or for your website or whatever, and it's not in Greek, and maybe your client doesn't speak English, you know, you only, instead doing the translation just for your client and leave it there, you can just translate it and to share it with the rest of the world. So other people can just enjoy just your translation. And the same with plugins, you know, all the plugins are there 
you know, if you are interested about translating a specific one into Greek, go there and you will be, you know, doing something for you and sharing with the world. And much more. I mean, there are teams for about design, helping, you know, the WordPress project design. There are teams about marketing, if you are interested about as well. Everything is in make.wordpress.org. So I hope this uh, helped. And if you have any question, I'm happy to answer. Any questions? Okay, there is one there. <laughs> If not, you can come here and to make the question to everyone. Right? <laughs> okay, the microphone is coming. Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Uh, I was wondering if there's a, a Slack channel for Gutenberg uh, in order to... There are four channels for Gutenberg <laughs> right now. Uh, in, uh, because I, I searched and I couldn't find one. Oh, you could not? Yeah. Oh. So I'm sure there are four. So I don't know the specific names now, but I can check it after the talk, and I will let you know the names. Okay, yeah. thank you. You're thank welcome. You. Any more questions? If not, you know, I'm happy, you know, just come in the corridors during the day to say hello, and I will be very happy to talk with anyone if you have any questions. Thank you very much.